What if I told you that TF2 is going to receive an update this year? Now, I'm not sure what's more shocking. The fact that we're actually getting an update or the fact Valve communicated with us. Let's talk about that. So, if you're even barely interested in TF2, you've probably heard the news that made the community rejoice for a good couple of days on Twitter. Valve confirmed in a blog post that as part of the normal summer cosmetic update, Valve planned to give us more. Valve have called it a full-on update-sized update, and now what that is is open to interpretation as to what it entails, and I suspect Valve intentionally worded it that way. But that didn't stop the entire community from going crazy with speculation. What we do know for sure is that we're getting items, maps, taunts, unusual effects, and war paints. But they left it open-ended for us. The only information we have is that it's not a summer-themed update. This came a few weeks after the huge TF2 repo leak, which revealed a treasure trove of unreleased TF2 content. There were concerns that this could have killed Valve's want to give us content and the desire to make things for TF2, but it seems those were washed aside as they dropped this blog post out of nowhere. It was actually a crazy move from Valve. It really does seem like TF2 could be entering a new age should Valve continue to do this sort of communication with the fans. As we saw, the hashtag SaveTF2 movement was a great success as Valve took notice and claimed they were working to improve things. Which, to be fair, they were for a time. Uh, it seems that at least somebody at Valve cares about Team Fortress 2, which does warm the heart slightly. I do hope this game gets the love that it deserves because the community is thirsting for a big update for such a long time. Since October 2017 to be exact. I can only hope this represents the start of an upward trend for TF2, similarly to what we've seen happen with CSGO. Valve seemed to love that game and just throw TF2 aside, so hopefully something changes. Now, what do I think we'll receive? Sort of a wish list, if you will. I do not think this will be a major update a la Jungle Inferno, but I do think we'll receive a nice big chunk of permanent content. I think the maps we receive in this update will be mainstays in the map pool, and, you know, sort of refresh it in a way to give us some new experiences. Personally, I hope we'll see some new weapons to shake up the pool too. However, this is very unlikely as well we've not had a new weapons since Jungle Inferno. I do expect there'll be a hefty list of weapon changes, which is what this game desperately needs. I know the community has been working on some themselves, so maybe Valve could call upon them to help fix the game. <laughs> but arguably, the number one thing I think Valve should focus on, and what I do expect them to focus on, is the bot problem that is still persistent despite Valve's attempts to stop them. Now Valve have gone better and TF2 has seen less bots um, in my own personal experience, but with this update causing waves in the internet, especially the gaming circles, there's a good chance a lot of new people may jump on TF2 when this update drops, so it would be the perfect time to hopefully sort out the bot problem. It's the best thing Valve could do to help the community enjoy the game they love without having to jump through hoops to find a botless experience. It'll give new players a better experience and recurring and returning players a refreshing experience too to see their game has not been infested by bots. What would I like to see though if I had an update wish list? Well, in my time on YouTube I've talked about many updates I'd like to see implemented to TF2. An MVM update and a medieval update are the real standouts as they're the content I crave the most. However, in previous times the community has come together to create their own community updates which Valve could also draw from. As we know, they're looking for Community Workshop creators to create fresh new content for them. Now personally, I wouldn't mind seeing Valve pick from the Frontline Community update that we saw in 2016. It was a World War themed update with a wealth of talented creators contributing. Alongside the hopeful bot combating fixtures, I would really like to see some new weapons. Now while I am pretty set in my ways with the weapons that I currently use, I would love to see some new weapons to experiment with, which could shake up the meta. I would also love a new MVM campaign. I've talked about it many times, but MVM is my favourite TF2 game mode. So any update would be lovely, however unlikely that may be. We saw they were planning MVM campaigns in the repo leak. While I don't expect we'll see any repo leak content, it just shows that they were working on it, which is, you know, it's a shame that we didn't get it. But hey, we're, we're past that now. <laughs> we know the community can make some brilliant content. Just browsing the workshop shows the talent we're lucky enough to have in this community. It's been great to see that this blog post has spurred them on to create some content with a guarantee that their content could grace the game they love, which is brilliant. The community has really carried this game for all those years Valve seemingly forgot about it and they deserve a lot of credit for keeping this game going. Admittedly, Valve has improved in recent years, but the bar was literally on the floor. I don't want to be too negative in this video as TF2 is going to receive a wealth of content in the summer, which I personally cannot wait for. 
And while I do still hold out hope that we will see a major update in the future, I I will take it. This quote unquote update sized update, whatever comes with it, I'm going to be excited for. But you never know, it could see that TF2 comic finished. Right, so you're probably watching this video thinking, what is this guy talking about? They changed the blog post. His hopes should be crushed. And they were for a good couple hours when that blog post change came through. So yeah, Valve changed the blog post. It has since been altered to read full on holiday sized update. So it's no longer an update sized update. So there goes any speculation that it could have been a major update. I don't think anyone really expected a major update, to be honest, but it's definitely not happening now. Now, as you can imagine, this was a shock to read, but it's just such a Valve thing to do. You know, they, they rarely communicate with the TF2 community, and then when they do, they have to backtrack anyway. They, they I, I don't think Valve like the TF2 community, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> they also closed it off by saying we'll see community contributed fixes as well. So that is good. We will see some bug fixes. We will see hopefully some weapon balance changes. Fingers crossed for that one. But we know what we're getting now and we can set our expectations accordingly. I think leaving it open-ended, let speculation go wild and the TF2 community who are so touch starved, just ran with it. And who can blame them? We haven't received a proper update since 2017. They've really tempered expectations of what we would see in this update, and I think that's what most people are interested in. The fact that they've closed it off, we now know what we're going to see. I think it's nice that we know what we're going to see, but the speculation was always fun. The fact they changed it silently is what I think annoys most people, because if they just said this out of the gate, the hype would be at an all-time high. If they didn't have to backpedal, the tf 2 community would hype would still be high, because we know we're getting an update, we know what we're getting, we get something nice, something we don't usually see in summer. So I think it was a silly move for Valve to do that. I and many others never suspected we'd see a major update, but the original wording left it open-ended as to what we'd see, and the TF community ran with it, as I think anyone would. We are so content starved it's actually funny. It's not all doom and gloom with the update though. As we know, we're getting a bigger update than we normally would see in summer, and a fresh load of content that isn't just cosmetics. Valve are still figuring out this communication thing, but them making this blog post originally is a great step forward, and hopefully they continue this into the future. I just wish they sort of hide like a community manager for TF2 who would make these blog posts, who would communicate on Twitter. Let the gamers know what we're gonna get. Let the gamers know what's going on. Because I don't suspect many people are working on TF2 Evolve. I'd be surprised if anyone was, to be honest. Yeah, the fact we're getting a summer update, a, a quote unquote big summer update, is something to be very optimistic for. Personally, I'm feeling excited for what we'll see. I can't wait for some new maps to play. And hopefully they become mainstays in the map pool. But yeah. That's been my thoughts on the new TF2 update. I did not release a video straight away as so I wanted to collect all the information I could and thank god I did because Valve did Valve things. I'm still excited. I hope you are too. I understand being disappointed but we're getting a bigger update than we normally would see in the summer so that's something to be you know optimistic for. Anyway I've been over the giant tree. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have please do leave a like. Subscribe down below for more TF2 and gaming content. And yeah I should see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.